What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys a Lunala and Snorlax team for ranked regulation G. Now, when it comes to both of these Pokemon, they are definitely off meta pick. For restricted Pokemon, you don't get to see Lunala too much, and for just a normal Pokemon on a competitive team, you don't really see Snorlax too much, especially in Scarlet and Violet. So this one's going to be fun. Hopefully get the rock out using both these Pokemon pick up some wins for you guys but let's talk about lunala here first since it's in our top left hand corner in our number one slot lunala's got shadow shield with the leftovers as item rock and moon guys beam moon blast calm mind and protect like i mentioned it isn't off meta pick but it is super bulky especially if you could set up a calm mind so i think this pokemon is really strong Snorlax, let's talk about it. Thick Fat and Assault Vest, really niche Pokemon with the normal typing and the Ghost Terror typing. It's got Facade, which is actually a stab move, and if they want to put any like status condition on us, we're going to do double damage with it. We got High Horsepower, we got Crunch, we got Heavy Slam for dealing with Flutter Mains and other Fairy types. I do like Snorlax, especially as a back-end Pokemon on this team. Our final four Pokemon on today's team go with the Pelipper, King Gambit, Urshfu, and Rillaboom. Pelipper and Urshfu pair up together, obviously because of rain and big time damage with Urshfu. King Gambit going to be a nice counter to Incineroar due to Intimidate and Defiant. And Rillaboom, with the Choice Band, can do a ridiculous amount of damage and at the same time, get us some nice little terrain control. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to like it up and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing the Snorlax and Lunala team. Look who we're going up against in match number one, Dust Noir. Super dope Pokemon, love its design. I don't think I've seen it in Regulation G yet. I think I've seen it like earlier in the Scarlet and Violet days, but not in Regulation G. Same thing with Weavile, so two very dope Pokemon. I wonder what they're going to do with that. They also have Kyogre Tornadus, a deadly combo with Iron Hands and for Grip as their final two Pokemon. So no Intimidate, so I don't really like King Gambit here. I do have Pelipper, I do have Urshfu. Chances are they're bringing Kai Ogre, so they're going to set rain. And I'm going to want Rillaboom here. So I'm going to want Rillaboom. I definitely going to want Urshfu. And I think I want Snorlax and Lunala. I'm going to go with Lunala turn one. I actually really like that. Alongside with Rillaboom. Just to pose a threat straight over to that, uh, to that Kyogre. I think that's a good play. Because we can always just set up a Combine here. We can dump on Kyogre. We can bring Snorlax and Urshfu in the back end. I do like that a lot. So that is going to be a squad for me. I could have brought in Wideguard Pelipper, but I feel like Choice Band Rillaboom is really just a big time play for us, right? This Rillaboom doesn't have Fake Out either, so it actually kind of works in their favor. So a lot of times they think they're going to Fake Out, they used to protect the Pokemon, then you can just dump on the other one and kind of get after it that way. So, love me some Rillaboom, but yo, what is that profile picture? It's just an ice cream cone. <laughs> Just straight up ice cream gun. That's actually hilarious. But they're gonna end up leading Kai Ogre and Weavile, which is okay for us. I mean, you can fake out, which is a little scary. Um, I mean, I got Grassy Glide, but yeah, you're just gonna fake out my Rollboom, which is kind of scary, right? It definitely is kind of scary. I do want to set up a Combine here. I wish I had Wide Guard, which you actually might think I have. So do I set up a Combine or do I just go into a Protect this turn and play it safe? I think I'm gonna go for the Combine boost. I'm gonna say screw it. I know combine boost. I'm just gonna go for grass glide, and I clicked Weavile instead. Can you fake out my Rillaboom? Thank you. I clicked on I clicked on Weavile instead. So Rillaboom's gonna flinch here. Water Spout's gonna fly. Lunala should be able to soak. It does actually do pretty well, but Rillaboom dies out to that. Are you kidding me, Rillaboom? You are so much better than that. You are so much better than that, Rillaboom. Die into a Water Spout. I want at least one more turn from you. Now this actually just makes life a bit tougher for me. I do get my combine off. And I am gonna get leftovers here. Alongside with grassy terrain stuff, so that's good for us. And I could just protect and get that all over again. Um I could go into Snorlax here. I could go into you. I am choice scarf with you. So I mean I could do some big time damage, or at least start to do some big time damage. And you know what? That's that's something we might want to do, because you might just go into a what's it called here? You might just attack my Lunala here. I think you are. I'm going to protect you. Just get some more HP back. And I'm just going to go into a close combat here. And just look to rip the Kyogre. I got to do some damage on the Kyogre. They might even swap the Weavile here as well. So I'm Choice Scarf. I am outspeeding this Kyogre all day. Unless he's Choice Scarf. The chances are we're outspeeding him even if he's Choice Scarf. But we're going to see a Terra Pop out here from Kyogre. What are you going into? You're going straight water. So he's just looking for big time damage output. He's looking for the damage output. He's looking for it. And I'm able just to protect Lunala. I'm able to go for his close combat. Weavile, what are you going for is the real question. Someone's got to be attacking my what's it called. 
Someone's got to be attacking my Lunal here. And it's going to be you with Night Slash. That's good. You're definitely going for a, hopefully another Water Spout, just so we can soak that. Then we can really start getting in after it that way. And yes, it is a Water Spout. So now your HP is low. I keep my Urshifu. My Lunala gets back Leftovers and Grassy Turning HP. And I can really just start ripping here, right? That's not bad. So we do have a nice lovely Terra on us. And we might have to send it. Fairy Terra might be in our best interest. Because chances are Weavile is definitely Focus Ash, right? Weavile has got to be Focus Ash. Weavile has got to be Sash. Now, we have Fairy Terra on this thing, but do I send it? Like, what Pokemon do you have? Iron Hands, maybe? Yeah, I think we go into Fairy Terra. I think we go into Fairy Terra all day, and then we just throw a Moon Blast, or do we just go, like, Moon Geist Beam? I mean, I got a KO Kyogre. I got a KO Weavile. Um, Kyogre might swap, so I think... We're even going to a Protect, so I think sticking with Close Combat into this slot is definitely in our best interest. We're choice into it. Let's just keep doing some big-time damage. Let's just keep doing damage. Yeah, I really don't want to take a Night Slash from Weavile. Physical attacking. We're more bulked up on special defense, so I'd rather just Trash Slice here. Get the Fairy on top of my head and try to get rid of the Weavile very soon. So, I don't mind this turn. I don't mind this. Close Combat's going to fly. We're going to say bye-bye to Kyogre. Get it on out my face. My defense is doo-doo right now. It's so low. It's so in the dumps right now. It's just in the dumps. But again, chances are Weavile has Focus Ash here, so it is going to be able to soak up this Moon Blast. And are you still going for a Night Slash? No, you're going for Triple Axel, which... Can we eat up a Triple Axel? I don't know. Eat it up! Yes! That's massive. That's massive. And my Lunala is just almost pretty much back up at full HP due to Leftovers and Grassy Terrain HP. So we get rid of the Kyogre, they get rid of our Roll Boom. We bring you down to 1 HP, and I don't know if you have any first turn priority moves. Not too sure. Not too sure. And honestly, if they bring out a fake out user, we're just gonna protect Lunala and just hard swap Urshfu and reset our choice uh our choice. But look at us, already getting back up on HP. We took a water spout. We're almost up to full. If I protect this turn, we can get up to full, no problem. But I think I just want to kinda attack here, depending on who they go into. Let's see, who you got? It's gonna be Frigoraph. Alright, I don't mind Frigoraph, especially with no Terra. With no Terra, we're just gonna launch this this way. And honestly, just close combat this, because close combat is going to do the most damage that we can do. I still have Snorlax, which is good. So I'm just going to close combat the Frigoraph. You could potentially go for a Trick Room. You're just going to Helping Hand this Weavile here. He goes for Helping Hand on Weavile. He's going to faint me. He's going to KO me with faint. That's actually kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. My Lulao is boosted, so we'll pick up a KO onto, uh, onto Weavile. And now we have Snorlax just chilling on the field. So Snorlax and Lunala pretty much at full HP, both of them. Versus Frigraph and whoever they have. Which it could maybe be Iron Hands. And honestly, Iron Hands would be terrifying. I'm really hoping it's not Iron Hands. I'm really hoping it's not Iron Hands. I mean, if it is Iron Hands, we can just, you know, attack it. They did use Terra. Moonblast could do some nice damage, but... They can just Drain Punch me, which is the thing that I'm scared of. Let's see, who you got? It's Dusty War. Okay, cool. I can Moon Guys Beam that. Awesome! We love that. We love that. So Snorlax onto the field. Pressure's gonna exert. We are plus one on Calm Mind. We're just gonna start Moon Guys beaming down this thing. And you know what? Honestly, let's just double down. Actually, I don't want to protect and get some free turns. We'll crunch the for graph. Moon Guys beam flying. How bulky are you, Dustin? Warner? I feel like one of you guys had to pop a trick from here. And you're just not bulky enough for that. So Moon Guys beam, dump it on it. Get on out of here. So after our real boom died out, what was it? Turn one? We we're actually able to make a little bit of comeback here and uh, win this game. And Snorlax actually doing some good damage with that crunch. Half damage? We love that. We love that, Snorlax. We love that. But that's what's so good about Snorlax is it's so bulky and it can just learn a bunch of different coverage moves like it does right here. And it's just it's just awesome. Now, does this thing have the Assault Vest on it? My Snorlax? I kind of forget what we're using on it. Because a lot of them do run Assault Vest and then they're just immensely tanky. Yeah, see? Assault Vest with 250 HP. Same thing with Lunala, like 240 HP. I think it's just so hard to take down. But from here, we're just going to go Moon Blast. We're going to crunch. Wrap it up. The battle is canceled. Snorlax and Lunala starting things off hot. Great start for your boy there in match number one. We're looking for back-to-back -back wins. But this one's looking a bit tougher. Especially because they kind of have more of a meta team. They got Ice Rider Calyrex with Robum, Incineroar, Raging Bolt. And then they got Amoongus and Urshfu. So their only way of setting Trick Room... He's going to be Ice Rider Calyrex, so 
if we see that on the field, we kind of have to start getting after it. Um, who should I lead, though? Or who should I even bring? I mean, King Gambit could be pretty good. I actually kind of like King Gambit, especially if they want to intimidate turn one. I think that's pretty good for us. Plus, we can do some big time damage onto Urshifu. Or not Urshifu. Uh, onto uh, Ice Rider Calyrex. So, honestly, that's just a good lead for us. So, we're going to do that. Um, Robum could be pretty good here as well, especially with the choice band. I think it just does a lot of damage. Plus, we can always just U turn pivot. Urshifu could be good. We could honestly just go Urshifu Pelipper. Could be good. And I think bringing both of them are going to be good, but maybe not leading Urshifu. Because, I mean, you have Wide Guard, don't you? We love, we love white guard rank G, so I like that. I think Lunala is going to be a good lead, and then go Pelipper and Urshfu as late game Pokemon. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. Another thing that they don't have is weather control, so I mean, if I could just get Pelipper and Urshfu out there at the same time, you guys already know the damage I'll put on that. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. I'm still kind of surprised that my, uh, my Robo just died out to Water Spout, no problem. Just ripped up into it, and he wasn't even Terra boosted by then. Just ripped up into me. I was like, oh man, that's some damage. That is some damage. They end up going Rillaboom and Calyrex, which is okay by me. I mean, you can fake me out. Um, I wonder who you're going to fake out. It's got to be King Gambit, right? I mean, we're ghost type here. We I mean, might as well just start attacking. Right? We might as well start attacking. What's your terror type, King Gambit? That's a real question. This fairy. I mean, you're obviously faking me out. I mean, I will have Sucker Punch at that point. Might as well go for a Sword Stance here, if I can pull it off. So I'm going to do that. I am going to go for... Do I go Combine here, or do I just Moon Guys Beam and look for damage? I think we just Moon Guys Beam and look for damage in the Calyrex here. Who's going to Thrasslash? Yeah, that's a fair Terra. That is a fair Terra. I mean, again, I do have Sucker Punch, which is good. They're going to go Water Terra. Um, I don't know how much damage we could do. I'm curious. You've got to be faking out the... Uh, the King Gambit here. Yeah. I went for a Sword Stance. That would have been sweet. And Moon Guy's Beam is going to fly here. We got Moon Guy's Beam. They're going to be able to set up Trick Room, no problem. Moon Guy's Beam actually doing some decent damage. Not bad damage, and Trick Room is now out and about. So, if I had to guess, he's attacking. He might U turn pivot here as well. Um, and what's my play here? Do I just go for a Sucker Punch into Calyrex? Or even a Caltac Cleave? I might even protect you. You might be going for a... What's it called here? You might be going for a high horsepower. So honestly, let's just protect you. And let's just go into another Moon Guys Beam. Give me no reason not to. Give me no reason not to just go into another Moon Guys Beam. I'm going to protect you. I'm going to read that you're actually maybe going for high horsepower. And now you're going to stick with Glacial Land. So I could attack there, but I still like having all this HP with my King Gambit. And how much damage are you doing to Lunala? That's a real question. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. And Woodhammer's going to fly into this slot as well, which kind of sucks, man. That's some damage. That is some damage. You are going to take some mean recoil. Um, Moon Guys Beam now going to fly. And I'm hoping a Sucker Punch could actually KO at this HP. I really hope so. I mean, you are going to get back some HP. But can Sucker Punch do the job? I have no idea. I have no idea. I, I definitely want to protect Lunala here. I definitely want to protect Lunala, and I'm going to go for a Sucker Punch here. Just wasting out Trick Room turns, right? Just wasting them out. Can this Sucker Punch KO? I know Calyrex is a bit bulkier, and I wouldn't be surprised to see it protect. And if it protects, I mean, we're just wasting out Trick Room turns, which is good news on our side. But they're not going to protect because my Lunala is protecting first, and can Sucker Punch do the job? Finish it off. Mmm. Mmm. There's the high horsepower, and there it is. And there's the high horsepower. Robum's gonna wood hammer down Lunala again. Another Sucker Punch will KO Calyrex, which is good news. So I honestly think he probably like protects Calyrex or like goes into a different move. There's no way he just stays onto the field here. And I think just like attacking this Robum might be in our best interest. Right? Attacking Robum might be in our best interest. There's no way you just stay on the field. We're just gonna attack Robum here. And we're just going to go into a Moon Guys Beam. Let's just attack this thing. There's no way Calyrex is just chilling here. Yep, see? A little bit of swap action from Calyrex. And Raging Bolt is going to fly through here. Raging Bolt out and about. Are you going for another Woodhammer into my Lunala? Is the question. 
Then B's the real questions. The Trick Room days are pretty much over. Cataclysm Cleave gonna fly here. Some nice damage on the Roll Boom. And Woodhammer gonna finish this off, correct? Yeah, Woodhammer does ridiculous amount of damage. It really does. But okay, that's not too bad for us. We kind of know their team besides one Pokemon now. Um, I can protect King Gambit to get back some HP. Thunderclap, a little scary. Um, could just go into Pelipper, right? Or I could just go into Urshifu here. And Terra Grass. And start throwing Ice Spinners around. This little Terra Grass for us is bad. Maybe save the King Gambit, because we could swap the King Gambit. Which wouldn't be bad for us. Um, huh. We are slower than you. Good protect. I don't want to terrestrialize you. Um, I'd rather protect you than swap you. Um, someone's attacking King Gambit. That's that's the issue here. Someone's attacking King Gambit. I'm just gonna protect King Gambit. And I'm gonna terrestrialize you. And what does more damage? Close combat. Or ice spinner. I think ice spinner would. Yeah, it's super effective. But this is stab. They actually do the same amount of damage, but I won't drop my defense. So, you know what? I'm just going to go into Ice Spinner here. And I'm just going to look to rip up in the Rage Bolt. Yeah. With the Terror type, can't go wrong with it. So, Grass Terror type popping out from us. We know they got Calyrex. We have that thing low HP. I kind of want to save my King Gambit because first turn priority is just so massive. And I might even have to swap Urshifu too because, like, I don't know. Choicing in an Ice Spinner is a little rough. Choice in an ice spinner is a little rough. It's gonna do the job now, but maybe late game we definitely want certain strikes. Woodhammer gonna fly here. They actually do a lot of damage. Real Boom's gonna take some recoil. And Thunderbolt's gonna fly into King Gambit. So Trick Room, honestly, is it over here? I kinda need it to, to be done. I kinda need I had enough of it. I had enough of it. We are taking out terrain and we are doing a ridiculous amount of damage, which is huge. Critical hit. And the grass train is going to disappear. And Trick Room is done. So Urshu back to being fastest on the field, which is good news. Um, and now who's faster out of you two? I mean, you could go for a Thunderclap, but is Thunderclap going to KO me? I honestly should just Sucker Punch Rillaboom. He might honestly swap. I'm gonna sucker punch Roll Boom, look to KO you, and then just Ice Spinner. Raging Bolt. He's gonna go for Thunderclap. That's what I wasn't hoping. You get a crit on that. I guess crits go for crits. That's kinda tough, but Roll Boom can't KO me, which is good news. But that was my only problem, is I want to swap my, uh... I want to swap my Urshifu and get go in the Surgeon Strikes. Would've been really good for us, but I do have Pelipper, which is nice. But I had to guess Incineroar might be their final Pokemon. And they're gonna U-turn out. That's just rough, man. That's just rough that that Thunderclap KO'd me, because I would've sucker punched or KO'd him. Alright, so, I mean, Fake Out KO's me, which is really tough, which I don't like. And if you do have Incineroar, which you do, yeah, everything just went down the drain here. Because you could Fake Out KO me now, which is exactly what you're gonna do. And I got Pelipper, though. I do got myself some Pelipper action. Calyrex comes out here as well, so they're gonna Fake Out KO my Urshu, which is really tough. Um, I don't want to go for Wide Guard, I kind of just have to start attacking here. This is brutal. This is brutal. I needed my King Gambit there. I probably should just protect the King Gambit and got rid of one of them at a time. But I mean, I protected the turn before, so I couldn't have. So from here, we're going to take out the Calyrex. I think getting rid of the Calyrex is, is, is in our best interest. And I mean, might as well try to Ice Spinner instant war. But who are you faking out here? You're going to fake out and KO the Earth. So yeah. Smart play on their end. We will get rid of the... Uh, We will get rid of the, what's it called, the Calyrex, but now they just have Rule of Boom back out here with Incineroar. And I mean, they'll probably fake out, fake out, knock off, chip up some damage, and then kind of just go from there, right? Yeah, Pelipper's in the dumps here. Hurts the soul. Yeah, I really I really need a King Gambit to survive another turn, because once it survived, like, if it survived that last turn and we got rid of Rage Bolt, I was just going to hard swap my Urshfu out. And honestly, Ice Spinner would have worked fine here, but I would have hard swapped Urshfu out, reset our choice, and it would have been a 2v2, and we probably would have won, or a 2v3. Anything but this 1v3 situation here, we would have won. But I mean, from here, we're just going to try to get rid of Rollaboom. Who would I rather try to get rid of? Yeah, Rollaboom. 
Whispers. That's why the ball can KO. And you don't go for Fake Out. Hold up. Hold up. You don't go for Fake Out. Do you not have Fake Out like my Roll Boom? And now we're sitting here with a faster Pelipper. Oh, wow. That did a lot of damage. Can Weather Ball KO? Can Weather Ball KO? That's, that's the question. Pelipper, can you, get, can you get work done? Can you get work done in the rain? Let's go. We ended up winning that one. Pelipper clutches it up. I'm super surprised he didn't go for Fake Out. Like I said, if they just Fake Out and knock off the Pelipper there, they win the game all day. But hey, we take that win. We're sitting 2-0. What a weird win in match number two, but I'll take it all day. They could have just faked me out, knock off, or even just grassy glide it with the Rillaboom and won that game, but I guess they didn't. We're going up against a quadruple genie team here in match number three. Really dope team with Landorus, Thunderous, Enamorous, and Thunderous, or and Tornadus. And then they got Reggie Draco and Miradon. So they can set Electric Train, which means Rillaboom is going to be a best friend of ours. I definitely want to bring in Snorlax. I definitely want to bring in Lunala. I think leading in Lunala could be pretty good, especially due to all the special attackers. So I'm going to lead Lunala, and I'm also going to lead... Hmm. I could lead King Gambit in case Intimidate comes out here, which I do like. And then bring Rollaboom and Snorlax in the back end. Yeah, I really don't want the Rain Squad, especially with me right on, on the field on top of... Uh, on top of giving them Rain. Because if I give them Rain, all their, uh, all their genies have a move that hits 100% of the time. That is double hitting. Yes, Springtime Storm, Sandseer Storm, Bleak Wind Storm, and Wild Bolt Storm. All of them hit 100% in the rain. So I really don't want to give them access to rain for free. You know, I want them to either use a rain dance or do it themselves. So we're, we're, we're not just going to give them rain. Let's see who they end up leading here. It's going to be Tornadus and Reggie Draco. So this just seems like a Tailwind kind of play. And this seems like I can freely set up Calm Mind here as well. It seems like Tailwind Dragon Energy. And I feel like I should just go for Fairy Terra. And calm mind boost and at the same time just protect you. And get off this free calm mind boost. It's super free. It's as free as they come. You could be going for Earth Power and Nicking Gambit. That's definitely an option. But I just still still feel as setting up this move right now is gonna be big for us. So we'll see a terror pop out from them. Most likely Dragon Terror, right? This thing's looking to do some damage. Yep, Dragon Terror. And you know what's a perfect counter to the Dragon Terror? Fairy Terra, baby. Fairy Terra, now getting after it. I love this. So we're going to be able to calm Mind Boost here. Um, they're definitely going for Tailwind Dragon Energy. He will do no damage because I'm protecting and I am Fairy Typing. And then next turn, I'm trying to think ahead of it here a little bit. I think I could just Sucker Punch and neutralize some damage of Dragon Energy. Kind of just go from there, right? Going for Taunt. You're trying to Taunt me? We're trying to taunt me. So, okay, so no Tailwind. And Draco Meat is going to fly here. Doesn't affect Lunala. Okay, so no Dragon Energy. Maybe you think I had Wide Guard going. Why are you trying to taunt my... It wouldn't even affect it, my King Gambit. So now from here, um... Could be going for Dragon Energy. I'm still going to send this Moon Blast here. I'd hard swap and like Snorlax here. And just save the King Gambit. Did you got best? Um, you know what? No, we're just gonna I'm just gonna stick with my plan. I'm gonna sucker punch you just in case you wanna go for dragon energy here. You're gonna end up withdrawing, okay. Yeah, I should have swapped Snorlax. I should have swapped the Lax. Now who are you gonna go into from here? gonna be Lando, so he's gonna in he's gonna Defiant boost me. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I appreciate that a lot. So now my King Gambit's plus one, my Lunala's plus one. And he's gonna taunt my Lunala here. That's fine, we're attacking you anyway. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're just, you're just giving me free turns here. Sucker Punch gonna miss, but hey, this turn's in our favor because we got off some free damage. And on top of that, you boost my King Gambit, who is now plus one. Boom Blast gonna fly. Bop. Big time damage. I can sucker punch Lando down if I want to to finish him off. Um, I'm going to go Moonguy's Beam here. And yeah, we're just going to sucker punch here. Force him to either swap or just die. You're either swapping or dying. It's up to you. It's totally up to you. It is up to you. This seems actually a lot of fun. Actually, I, I actually like, like I said, Lunala is an off meta pick, but it is so strong. I love Lunala. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if Lunala, like, has a shot at the world titles when it comes to August. 
This Pokemon is just awesome. It really is. I want to see a withdraw here. Go ahead. That's fine. So I exert that sucker punch pressure. There's no need for me to make a big time read right now. And we're just fine with just attacking, right? Sucker punch gonna fly. It's gonna do nothing. Moon Guy's beam gonna get sent to uh, sent to Tornadus and Bleak Wind Storm King Gambit's gonna die. So Lunala Soak's no problem. Don't give me a speed drop. Actually, I mean speed drop don't really matter. You're already outspeeding me. Moon Guy's beam gonna launch. Moon Guy's beam. Yeah, yeah. Big time damage. Just one shotting this thing. Okay, so now I mean we're just gonna swap for King Gambit, right? Let's see who they bring out here first. But my plan here is just to swap King Gambit and then just Moonblast down this Miraidon. Who are you going to go into? Reggie Draco? Lando? I doubt you go into Lando again. If you go into Lando, I might just keep King Gambit, protect Lunala. Because being plus two is just ridiculous. Now you're going to go into Reggie Draco. I might just sacrifice my King Gambit here instead of swapping. I think just protecting you. Oh, I'm taunted. Oh, yeah. Now, now we definitely have to swap. Now we definitely have to swap taunting me so I can't protect. God dang it. Yeah, I was just going to protect and just launch a sucker punch. This being plus one is just so big. Well, let's get rid of this terrain right here. Make it simple. This is our terrain. We're not giving you a Hadrod engine. And he's just going to protect Rachel Draco, which is totally fine because I'm going after me ride on. Going right after your me ride on. He's going to overheat. Wow, did he read this or no? He, was just, he just wanted to attack King Gambit. But I mean, that's fine. Your special attack drops. We took terrain away. Moonblast has a shot at KO and being terror boosted and plus one on special attack. Are you a jet pack? You're a jet pack! Alright, at least we KO Lando, but then he gets terrain control. A jet pack. A little scary, dude, because Electro Drift. Mm. Electro Drift, we don't like. <laughs> Electro Drift, we do not like. I mean, I have a salt vessel on my Snorlax, which is good news. Um. I only have two Pokemon left, and they're both Dragon typing, which is huge for my Fairy Terra. So, I mean, Miraidon's really the only Pokemon that I really have to worry about. I mean, because of the electric moves and the electric terrain. But, Reggie Draco, on the other hand, could have Earth Power. It most likely has Earth Power, but again, I'm not too worried about it. So, I could go into King Gambit. I could do some damage. I could just go into Stormax. And I think saving King Gambit for later is probably a bit better for us. So, I'm, gonna just, gonna, I'm just gonna go into Stormax right here. Little bulky Snorlax action. And this is where we just double down to me right on. Snorlax, my dude! I love me some Snorlax. I love me some Snorlax. Alright. So Moonblast, obviously our play, they already use Terra. And from here, do we just go high horsepower or double down? Yeah. Let's double down on this thing. I doubt it protects. Even though I just said that. Whenever I say that, they usually always protect. It, it, it takes their protect rate up to about 90 percent and he doesn't cool so electro drift we should soak we're plus one this thing does hit hard and yeah we soak rather well and i doubt you're doubling down into my lunala now you're going for dragon energy who snorlax is also going to soak here i know dragon energy does damage but assault vest snorlax he's a bulky boy he's a bulky boy so there's that and now the combination of moonblast and high horsepower we'll finish off the ride on Actually, just Moonblast does the job. Thank you very much. And we're going to win this game and grab ourselves a 3-0 perfect record with this Snorlax squad. I love it. I love this squad. We missed Night Horsepower? No, we landed. it. Does nice damage. See, like, Snorlax is just such a respectable Pokemon. Super bulky. Does respectable damage. Usually, it will never die out in one shot. And it's just insanely strong. But from here, I can now switch over to Moonguy's Beam. And if I wanted to, I could just go for Facade, do a little bit more damage. But I think they cancel match. Yep, they cancel match. Three games, three wins, and so a 3-0 perfect record for us. Not one, but two off-meta Pokemon rocked out in today's video and got ourselves a winning record. Or not even just a winning record, a perfect record. 3-0 with Lunala and Snorlax. Two very dope Pokemon. Lunala definitely underrated when it comes to restricted Pokemon. Um, you just set up a combine boost and pretty much this thing just starts ripping. It's super bulky on special defensive side and it can one-shot Pokemon like you've just seen in all three matches today. Snorlax on the other hand, very niche pick but very respectful. Super bulky, can do some nice damage. We all love Snorlax. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive every day and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out everybody.